humans, I'm Mr. King. Hey, hey, hey! Okay, now let's come into the examples of popular exam questions and answer for the air and water chapter. So first, you see how do we test for the presence of water? Okay, okay, we can use cobalt chloride paper or anhydrous copper two sulfate. Okay, so you see cobalt two chloride paper, so color changes blue to pink. Anhydrous copper two sulfate, white to blue. Okay, then examples of users of H2O. Okay, so examples of industrial users. Okay, remember it is used to produce ethanol. Okay, then it is used to produce sulfur acid in contact process. Okay, to produce hydrogen or ammonia for table. Okay, then examples of users of water in home. Yeah, huh, really easy. Common sense care okay, like cooking, drinking, washing, and so on. Okay, easy. Okay, next one. See how the water is treated okay, before it is supplied to the consumer. Okay, huh, remember first it undergoes filtration to filter all the insoluble solid and then undergoes chlorination okay, to kill all the bacteria. So in many regions, drinking water is obtained by distillation of seawater. So how distillation separates the water from seawater? Okay, remember, okay, based on different boiling point. Yeah, so first we boil it. Okay, then the water will get if uh will turns into steam, and then we condense the steam produced into water. That's it. Yeah. So next, how high temperature in the vehicles? Okay, causes acid rain. Okay, remember, so we see the, uh, they're asking you, okay, how uh, oxide of nitrogen is produced? Yeah, remember, so the source of oxide of nitrogen. Okay, first you have to mention oxygen and nitrogen that reacts. Okay, so to form oxide of nitrogen. Yeah, then the oxide of nitrogen produced, remember, okay, it is non metal oxide. So therefore, it will react with water or dissolve in water to produce acid. So this is how acid rain is produced. Then you see one cause of acidity in soil is acid rain. So how acid rain is produced? So you see, uh, other than the formation of oxide of nitrogen, okay, uh, it can also produce our uh, sulfur dioxide. Okay, so you see how uh, burnings of fossil fuels that contain sulfur. Yeah, sulfur okay produce sulfur dioxide gas. Then it reacts with rainwater to produce sulfuric acid. Okay, which is something acidic. Okay, next. Two bases we can be used to increase the pH. Okay, remember, you see, whenever you see question asking you, okay, what are the substances that you can use to neutralize the acidic soil? Remember, it is always calcium compound. Okay, you see, like example, calcium oxide, calcium hydroxide, calcium carbonate. Remember, okay, it is always calcium compound. Okay, next. So, why does the combustion of fuel rather than coal reduce the amount of pollution? So, why? Yeah, remember you see wood it produces less carbon outside. Why? Because there's lesser concentration of carbon in woods. Okay, yeah, and then trees care okay, that grows and then they take in carbon outside. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, to undergo this reaction we call photosynthesis. Yeah, ah, uh, see uh carbon neutral fuel. All right. Yeah, the next one. Explain why the uncooled pea started to rust. Okay, uncooled wa, which means it is exposed to oxygen and water. Okay, remember these are the two conditions. Okay, needed for rusting to take place. Okay, next. So in terms of electron transfer, why still does not rust even if the layers of zinc is fresh so that the steel is exposed to soil and water? Okay, see. Remember this is very important, okay, popular in exam. So whenever we see question asking you, okay, why even though part of the zinc is scratched or removed, but then still the steel or iron, okay, uh, does not undergo rusting. So why? So this one first, you have to talk about the reactivity. So you see zinc it is more reactive than iron. So therefore zinc it is oxidized, okay, by losing electrons. And then the electrons, it goes to iron. So therefore, iron does not lose electrons, or therefore, iron does not oxidize. That's it. Okay, easily four marks. Okay, then define respiration. Okay, remember it is the relation between glucose and oxygen. Okay, to produce energy. So ah, uh, so you have to talk about living organism. Okay, energy is produced from glucose. Okay, so these are the keywords. All right. 
okay, next. See, waste gases and how they are formed. Can you remember, you have to remember the source of all the uh, waste gases. Okay, like carbon monoxide, okay, incomplete combustion of carbon containing fuel, sulfur dioxide, burning soft. Remember, if you mentioned the word fossil fuels that contain sulfur. Okay, keywords are fossil fuels that contain sulfur. Then oxide of nitrogen, okay, nitrogen reacts with oxygen, okay, under high temperature. Okay, methane, okay, high anaerobic decomposition, aerobic decay. Okay. Okay, describe the Haber process giving reaction condition. Okay, remember you have to remember the condition needed for Haber process to take place. Remember pressure 280M, pressure 450, iron catalyst, and of course, okay, followed by this reversible equation. Yeah, remember the reversible reaction symbol. Okay, then the elements okay, they are needed yeah, uh, in fertilizer for plants. Remember, it's what I call NPK. Yeah, nitrogen and P phosphorus, K potassium. Okay, so these are the three main nutrients needed. Alright. Hmm. Alright, thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.